I'm not going to run it all the way because it's going to take a little while to get up to its top speeds. But first off, it's just calibrating itself. It's, oh, and this is off because we're flipping the image. So let me actually switch to... If you were doing this on paint, would it be performance art? Yes. <laughs> performance art. Robotic performance Let me switch to a better visualization. So you can actually see what it's doing. So you're going to see that it's, it's going to get faster and faster. So you can see here that it's going to start calibrating itself again. Pick it out where its home point is, which is the top left of the screen. Now it's just calibrating for the center of the screen. Um, and so the types of things we're measuring here, when it's just tapping like that, we're actually trying to measure the end-to-end -end latency. So if you imagine when you press a key on a keyboard, that's going to take about 100 milliseconds to respond and display on the screen. And that's the kind of things that we're trying to measure here to make sure that we're on par with those kind of technologies. Um, so this is going to slowly get faster and faster. So is this simulating a finger drag? This is actually a finger drag. Okay. So we're using the entire vision system stack. We're going through all of the same processes as if it were, in fact, you can see, this is really recognizing it. So I'm going to stop that because it's going to go on for ages. It's just going to keep going faster. And what I'm going to show instead is another demo. Where is it? Let's do this. Just to show you something fun that our robot does in its spare time. And what it's going to want me to do is actually start the piano. So you've probably all seen the piano demo. happy to play this forever and ever. <laughs> doesn't get tired. Okay. And so, now it's going to be stuck in your head yeah. all day. <laughs> More cowbell. <laughs> oh, and the other thing I was going to show you was uh, some of our multi touch stuff. Um, so let's stop him playing. Let's see. So, when we want to do our multi-touch testing, one of the things we do is just um, attach these to the robot as well. And you can see here, um, this particular example, it's actually going to pretty much max out the system. We're measuring, I kind of think that was upwards of 50 or so contacts. Um, obviously the performance uh, drops a little bit when we've got so many contacts. Um, but the general idea is that the number that we can recognize is uh, very, very high. Does it, 